Alright, so let's start working on the actual bumper. But before we begin, just like we did with the front, um, what do you call it, shrink wrap, what we're going to do is, first of all, let's take all of the edges that go around this, okay, all the way to this point. And first of all, let me duplicate this, okay, I'm going to press Shift and D. I'm going to move that to the main meshes. And I'm going to take this one now, just click again into select it for you, rear bumper guide. And I'm going to go in here, select all of that. I'm going to press G twice and then C and I want to move it slightly beyond why is it doing that. Just G twice and then C and then let's move it just slightly, just slightly beyond it like that. Let me make sure that worked nicely. Yeah, I think it did. So just move it slightly beyond it like that. And let's hide that in the guide meshes now. So let's take this one. I'm going to rename this Red Bumper. Just Red Bumper like that. Alright, so let's go back to the guide meshes. I'm going to bring back the rear bumper guide. Where is it? This one. And we're going to take the rear bumper guide now. You can see the name right here. Rear bumper guide selected. And we're going to shift and D this. Okay, we're going to duplicate it. And we're going to go into edit mode. We'll select everything. And what we're going to do is, let me zoom in to one of these vertices over here. And I'm going to select everything. With everything selected, we'll press Alt and S. And we're going to shrink this in. To, you know create the inner lip over here to act as a shrink wrap for the inner lip over there now the question is is it enough let me get on to this side is it enough or do we need more let me just zoom in real quick do we need more or is it enough let me see i think we need a little bit more so alternate no that's too much alternate too much all right so i'm pretty sure that should be good enough wait let me zoom out real quick no, it's not enough. We gotta bring it down a little bit more. Now, let me take a look. Okay, it could be good. Maybe. But just a little bit more. Alright, so this time I'm pretty sure it's good enough. Now let's take all of these edges over here. Let me see, I think it goes all the way through. Yeah. So you can see it's, slant in, it's slanting in a little bit. So let's just bring this out to about here a little bit and yeah that is looking good so I don't know I'm still not sure about how deep this thing is though so let's take everything else let's, let's shrink it in just a little bit more like that so this time I'm pretty sure it's it's good enough is it because we're not that far away and it's already looking small you know what I mean so let's let's just shrink it just a little bit more let me see. Alright, I'm pretty sure it's good enough. Now let's take this and slide it out a little bit more. Okay, it's good enough. There's nothing more to do. So we're going to rename that to Rear Bumper Guide and Inner. So like that. So let's hide those. Let's hide those now. Including the guide meshes. Like that. So let's take this and we're going to begin by creating this area right here. It shouldn't be too difficult. Let's get onto the side and let me see. Let me get onto the side view to wireframe. And we're going to cut it from this point all the way down. So let me get onto the side, wireframe. Let me see. Alright, so let's knife it from here and get into wireframe. Let's knife it from here first. Okay, so we're going to knife it from here. I'm going to move it up to about here. Click. And then let's knife it all the way up here. Click. Click. So we're just going to knife it all the way to the top. Why isn't it sticking to the line? It usually sticks to it. Uh-huh. There we go. Nice. Now let me see. There. There. I'm going to confirm it there for now. So let me just take a look real quick. Okay, that is looking great. Now, let me just go over to the top view into wireframe. Okay. I'm pretty sure it's straight. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this one. I'm going to click right here. And let me see, maybe move it to this one right here or this one instead. So I'm going to leave it at this one and then click like that. So that should be good. I'm going to take this and not merge it at the last. 
All right, so with that done, um, let me just, let me see. I'm going to take all of these. Now, first of all, let's get over here and let's dissolve this edge over here real quick. I don't know if we should dissolve it instead, but let me see. Yeah, I'm going to take this and this, merge it at the last. I'm going to take this and slide it up to about there and take this and this, merge it at the last. Take this and make this the last one, merge it at the last. Let's dissolve all of these and let's get over here. Let me see if I just let me take this two and dissolve the edges. So I'm just going to I don't know. Let me take this two, dissolve the edges. I mean these four, dissolve the edges. Same with this. Dissolve the edges. Same with this. Dissolve and finally that one dissolve. So when I add in one Oh, let's leave this one there. So from here all the way to here, I think that's three loop cuts. So let's add in three loop cuts like that. All right. So we're gonna add that in like that. I don't know. I kind of feel like we should merge this to this. So merge it at the last right there. And yeah. So that should look good. And um, what next? What next? What next? What next? Let me take this to impress J. Oh no, these two instead. And press J. Nope. These two instead. And press J. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure that'll be better. These two. And press J. Nice. So these are these edges right here. And f let's see. We're gonna have to do the same with this. Let me just slide things off. Take these two. And press J. Now let's dissolve this. And finally, this one. G twice, slide that over there, take these two, and press J, let's dissolve these edges, alright, very nice, so, um, let's see, if I put, if I put one in here, I think, or, let me see, we need four of them, no, three of them, sorry, we need three of them, so let me dissolve, I think we need to dissolve this one, let me just slide this forward, to here, like that. I'm gonna take this and dissolve it. I'm gonna pull one in here, slide it forward to there. I'm gonna take this and dissolve it. I'm gonna add one more in here. Take this and dissolve it, like that. All right. Now I'm gonna take this to press J. Take this to press J, and finally take that to and press J, like that. All right. So let me just slide this forward a little bit to match the line much better. So I'm going to take these three Alt M at last. Oh no, let's measure to this one instead. At last. And let me take our. Um, let's get over here. Let's create that square area over here as well. So let's go over to top view. Go into wireframe. Now that square area. How come it's not over on this side? It's here, but it's not here. Alright. Well, whatever. So, what we're going to do is, since there's no visible on that area, this side actually goes all the way to that side. So, let's dissolve these edges. I think so. Yeah, let's dissolve them. And, let me see. Let me take these two. And, let's dissolve those. Let's put one in the middle. And take these two and press J. Like that. Oh, let me take the one in the middle. Let me see. I think it's causing some problems there. Yeah. So we're going to press Alt and S. Oh. Let me see. How can we fix this area? We can leave it like that. I mean, it's not really big of a problem. But let's take this to press J. Okay, that fixes it a little bit. So that's, that's much better. Alright, so with that done, uh, let's create, let's just create that thing now. So let me just, um, let me see, what are we going to do, what are we going to do? This thing is right underneath the tire area over here, okay, right underneath the trunk here. So that is what we're going to make right now. So I'm going to take this all the way to that one, right here, press S and an X and type in zero. 
So I think that is about how far it is. Oh, we should slide things around a little bit. Let me just, let me just slide it around a little bit to there. I want to make that the active element S and X and type in zero again. All right. So we're gonna do the same thing over here. We're gonna take all these and that S and X and type in zero. Nice. So with that done, um, I think what we're gonna get rid of is this one right here. But I'm gonna slide it forward just a little bit, like I don't know, like that, and. I'm going to take all of these and dissolve it. I'm going to put one in the middle, like that. Alright, so that is looking good. And let's take this and delete the vertices. Yeah, so I'm going to take all of these now, except for that one. Take all of these, press X, delete the vertices, and all of these, X, and delete the vertices. Alright, so that is looking great, I think. I'm just take this one and slide it back a little bit more to about here. I'm going to take all of these X and delete the vertices. Nice. Let's take all of these now. See, this goes all the way down there. So let's delete the vertices here, including this one. Delete them all. Now let's take all of these, press X, and delete the vertices. Nice. All right. So I'm just going to knife this to the center right here because we can't have a triangle there. We can only have a quad. So take those four and press F to fill it in nicely like that. Now it's time to add in the shrink wrap. So let's add in the shrink wrap modifier. And let's add all of these to a group. So go in here and add in. Okay, we already have a group. Remove both of them and add in a new one. Click on the sign. Let's go to the modifiers now. So load in the group and find the rare. Just type in rare and choose rare bumper guide like that. Alright, so that should keep it on it very nicely. If I put it off, you can see it's actually taking nice effect. Very nice. And all that we have to do is to sharpen this area up. Shouldn't be too difficult. Um, what next? So yeah, that should finish up the first area. All we have to do now is to sh sharpen this area up real quick. So I'm just going to press Ctrl and R through here. Add one also over here. I'm gonna take all of these or all of these. Press G twice. Let's move it here. Press G twice over here, move that also over here. And I'm gonna add one over here as well. Press E, move it over here, and let's add in just one in the middle. Oh no, let's take that one to the back first. And then we'll add one in the middle. I'm gonna add one here as well. Press E to align it with the right side. And do the same thing here. E and an F to align it with the left side. Alright, very nice. So that is the first part. We have the surrounding edge loop going on it. Very nicely. So, what next? Let me just copy and apply the shrink wrap modifier first. So just copy and apply it like that. And, let me see. I'm going to knife this. Let me hide this real quick. I'm going to press Ctrl and R3 here. Hold on. Let's delete this area. So let me get onto the back view. Let me see where this ends. It ends right here. So I'm going to press G twice and move this forward. I'm going to knife this from here all the way to here. Like that. Select all of this and delete the vertices. I'm going to take all of this, X and delete the vertices. Very nice. So all that I'm going to do now is to take the edges here, all of these edges. Or maybe include these ones as well. And you guessed what we're going to do. We are going to apply the loop tools on it. So W, loop tools, space, like that. So that should evenly space them out very nicely. So let's get onto the back, and you can see it gives us what we need on the back. All right. So with that done, let's add in the loop cut now. So press E and then F, and let's align it with this side nicely. Press Alt and H, and let's go to vector select mode. Let's copy and apply the shrink wrap again. All right, so I'm going to take these two and press J to join them, like that. So I'm going to take these two now, this and then that, press Alt and M, and choose the last. Very nice. But now we have a triangle in the middle here, but I don't think that's going to cause any problems, so we'll keep it there. Is it going to cause any problems? Well, kind of. 
I think it's it's actually causing problems. So how can we how can we unless we dissolve this edge right here? I think we can do that. Let's dissolve it. Yeah, unless we dissolve it. And it's not looking bad at all. No, it's not looking bad. So we we'll we we'll just dissolve that one like that. So this, so that is not causing any more problems. Very nice. So that is the first area of the uh what do you call it? Of the rear bumper. Now we're gonna finish this area up and then we'll fill in the vertices correspondingly. So I don't know, should I end on this video and start a new one or you know let's continue. Let's continue this. So I'm gonna take let me see, I'm gonna take all of these, all these edges over here. I'm gonna press shift and then D and then press B to separate them. I'm gonna take it, that one. I'm gonna change the shrink wrap guide to the rear bumper inner guide, like that. So that drops it in a little bit, but like I said, it wasn't enough. So you can see it's not too big of a gap. So let's bring back the shrink wrap and let's move things in a little bit further. So just bring back the, uh, let's go into the guide meshes, enable it. And let's bring the inner guide, like that. So we're going to take it, go into edit mode, take everything, press Alt and S. And let's move it in even more. So let me just hide it. Let me see what we have. Yeah, so that's much better. And that is way much better. So we're going to take it now. Very nice. We just hide the uh, guide meshes now so that in case we press alternate it doesn't bring everything back all right so yeah first things first um let's duplicate this again but first i'm going to take all of these i'm going to move it in the y axis just a little bit like that we moved it in the y axis too much so let's move it back in that is too much, so I'm going to move it back in to about here. Let's get into the side view and see how much we're moving it. So I'm just going to move it back to about there. Alright, so with that done, um, let's, should we apply this? No, let's not apply it yet. Let's bring back the, the bumper guide, which is, uh, where is it? Rare bumper guide. Yeah, so let's bring both of them back and let's enable the guide meshes. So let's take this. I think let's increase the viewport to four for this one. And let's hide it. Now let's take this one as well. Increase the viewport to four and hide it. So let's bring back the front bumper guide. And let's take this. We're gonna shift and D this, drop it to two, and we're gonna move it to the guide me the main meshes. And let's let's hide the rear bumper guide now. Let's hide the guide meshes collection, like that. So we're gonna take this one now, and all that I need would be this vertex all the way from here to um. You know what? I have an idea to actually do this. So let's take. Let's take that line that we separated. Let's hide this. All right. And let's take this. So I think the best thing to do will be to fill the faces and then insert it. Okay. So just fill the faces and then insert it. It should get it pretty close to the to the guide mesh as possible. Except for these sides, of course. They're having a little issue. But yeah, the rest should try to at least get close to it. Now do that and then delete the faces. Now take, let me see, let's add in a loop cut in the middle here. Press X and delete the vertices. And let's take these vertices here, pull it down in the Z axis, like that. I'm gonna do the same thing here. Pull it down in the Z axis, like that. All right, so with that done, we're gonna take this and we're gonna delete the vertices. So that should follow it very nicely now. You can see it's not wavy anymore. It's pretty close to it. Very nice.
very very nice now I'm just gonna take things and move them in the appropriate axis so they you know follow it vertically very nicely so I'm gonna move that one I'm gonna take these ones as well and move it so yeah that should be good the rest I think are following it very nicely yeah they are alright so I'm gonna save that over real quick and I wanna end it on this video in the next video we'll finish off the bumper or maybe we will so I'll see you guys in the next video